Okay, we're going to have each person ask a question of someone else in the group. Dear Gwichon, can I start to? Dear Gwichon, Gis Meragwichka, Anya. Vive Agogar Saharin. Yeah. Agus the Chak. Agus the Chak. Kareb to Agogar in you. Well, if we may go for Timpel now, if we may end up in the August of Gingston. Fashion. We may end up in the August of Gingston. Turtu Dao Salam. <laughs> I had this spoken since I'd left school for many, many, many years. I was actually born in Ireland, uh, came to Canada in the 60s, moved to Kingston seven years ago, and then heard about the Irish society here, the uh, Harp of Tara, and I heard that they were speaking the language. So I decided to go back and try it again, and it's amazing, it's all coming back, a lot of it that I learned at school years and years ago. So we're going to work on Bantus Kainta Nish. This is the first step in spoken Irish, and we'll be on lesson 56. Uh, a country without a, a language is a country without a soul. In Irish, it's Tirna Changa, uh, Tir Gananam. We're trying to keep the language going, you know. The young kids are learning it in Ireland and in Canada. And my father was an Irish speaker, and, and when I was a kid, I, I learned a few Irish words, a few Irish expressions. And uh, some of them I, I retained into my, into my adulthood. Tan Madrashin and Shaarish. Um, that dog um, is here again. Oh, yeah. That's right. My parents didn't have Irish, and at the time that they went to school, it was forbidden in the schools, so they never learnt it. We did have it at school, and at that time there was a resurgence of it. A country really does need its own language and its own identity, and it is our identity from centuries back, the language. Uh, we may, uh, no, we may go Benz. Uh, 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 we try to do Irish stories, we try to do some Irish grammar, we try to do some new vocabulary every week, and now with Anna coming to join us, we're able to do a bit of conversation every week. Um, I don't think anyone is here yet. My ancestors were from Ireland, so Irish was the language they spoke when they arrived in Canada. So I thought it would be interesting to try to get some sense of what that language is. I've learned a couple of languages in my life. I've learned French, I've learned Spanish, I've learned Catalan. <laughs> Irish is tougher. <laughs> Partly because I don't have as much time as I used to, but yeah. And you know, it, it, nobody's gonna walk off the street and say they wanna learn Irish. <laughs> there has to be some reason. I'm involved in everything else and uh, might as well try the language too. Language is so much a part of the culture that you've come from. I think it's important that you, you try to keep that culture alive, whether it's through language or whether it's through music or whatever it's through. Uh, language is just one part of keeping a culture alive, I think. Wikisladia go will she go my Arish and Rao and Dr. Eki Ohin.